Hello everybody, hello grade 2. Today I'm going to continue in chapter 4, Kinds of Habitats, lesson 2. Lesson 2 is about hot and cold deserts. So lesson 2 is about hot and cold deserts. It means we are going to talk about two habitats, cold habitat and hot habitat. The hot habitat is the desert habitat, and the cold habitat is arctic habitat. So today we're going to cover two main concepts, desert and arctic. The two vocabulary words that we are going to talk about are a desert and arctic. So desert and arctic. I will start explaining about deserts. A desert habitat is the habitat that gets little rain and it is a very dry and hot habitat. So a desert habitat is the habitat that gets little rain and it's a dry and hot habitat. What about the living things that live in such a habitat? Living things like plants survive in such a habitat like the cacti plant by storing water in its leaves and stem. So how does a cacti plant survive and adapt in a desert habitat, it stores plants and uh, it stores, sorry, water in its leaves and stems. So a desert habitat, it's, this is a desert habitat, is the habitat that gets little rain and it's a very dry and hot habitat. So it's a dry and hot and gets little rain. Just put this in your mind, please. Hot, dry, get, gets little rain. What about the plants that live in such a habitat, like a cacti plant? How do they adapt? How do they survive? Cacti plants, they store water, and they store water in their, uh, in their large leaves and stems. What about the weather in the desert? The weather in the desert is hot during the day. In some deserts, the weather is hot during the day and it's cold during the night. So the weather in some deserts, it's hot during the day and cold during the night. Now, the soil, the soil in the desert habitat is sandy and rocky, okay? So the soil in the desert habitat is sandy and rocky. What about the animals that live in a desert habitat? Snakes are examples of the animals that live in a desert habitat. They can survive without much water. So snakes uh, live in such a habitat, they can survive without much water. Lizards are animals also that live in such a habitat. Lizards are reptiles, as we studied before. They survive and live in a desert habitat. Animals that live in a desert habitat get more water from the plants and animals they eat. So how do the animals survive in a desert habitat? How do they adapt in a desert habitat? A cacti plant, it stores water in its stem and leaves, and other animals, they eat and from other plants, so they take the water from other plants and animals can survive and adapt themselves in such an environment by taking or eating other plants and getting benefit of the water from other plants. So I will repeat this idea, which is very important. How do animals live and adapt in such an environment? Animals that live in a desert habitat get water from the other plants they eat. They get the water from other plants they eat. Most of the animals in a desert habitat, they sleep during the day and come out during night. So foxes, for example, they sleep during the day and come out during the night. So 
what is a desert habitat to review and sum up a desert habitat it receives little rain it's a dry and hot habitat okay most of the living things that live in such a habitat they don't need uh, much water a cacti plant it stores water in its leaf and stem uh, animals get water from the plants they eat now we will talk about the other kind of habitat which is the cold habitat the cold habitat we call it arctic so arctic is another kind of habitat we it is mainly dry and cold so what's arctic like an arctic environment it's a cold and dry environment plants in arctic environment they grow close to each other and they are very small and low and close to each other and they are very slow and low to the ground so plants in arctic environment are very slow are very low and they grow to uh, to, to each other and close to the ground so what is an arctic environment what is an arctic habitat an arctic habitat is a dry and cold habitat it's a desert habitat but it's cold and dry an arctic habitat is a desert habitat but it is cold and dry okay this is an example of arctic habitat and as i have explained uh, arctic habitats are cold and dry they are near the north pole what about the arctic animals what about uh, the arctic animals that live in such an environment foxes are examples of uh, the animals that live in arctic environments also polar bears so uh, polar bears and foxes are examples of the animals that live in the arctic uh, they are covered by fur that help them to stay warm in such an environment so how do uh, uh, polar bears and foxes adapt in such an environment they are covered by fur the fur help uh, these animals to uh, adapt to get warm in such an environment and they can this uh, this fur it helps the animal it helps the animal to uh, stay safe and hide in the arctic so examples of the animals that live in such an environment are polar bears and foxes this is the polar bear and this is the fox uh, these animals they adapt uh, in the environment uh, because the skin uh, uh, covering which is the fur help them to hide and to stay warm walrus is another example of the animals that live in arctic environment what about the plants that live in arctic environment plants in the arctic environment grow close to each other and they have tiny leaves and they are very close to the ground so plants in arctic environment they grow close to each other and they have tiny leaves and they are very small and low plants so to sum up what is an arctic environment an arctic environment is a dry and cold environment it, it's a desert but it's dry and cold the animals that live in arctic environment are like polar bear uh, a fox and a walrus okay and what about the plants that live in arctic environment the plants that live in arctic environment grow close to each other close to each other and very low to the ground their leaves are very small and uh, they 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 adapt by they adapt by uh, they are uh, by growing close to each other 
Okay, now to sum up, we're going to review the vocabulary words together. Okay, so uh, vocabulary review. Uh, a desert near the North Pole. What do we call the, 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 the desert near the North Pole, which is cold and dry? Arctic. Uh, a dry habitat that gets little rain is the desert habitat. So to sum up, finally, desert gets little rain, it's hot and dry. Arctic, it's a desert near the North Pole that's cold and dry. I hope you have understood uh, the lesson. I wish you all the best for the coming week. Uh, thank you so much for your listening and thank you so much for your hard work. See you. Bye-bye.